So guys, have you seen the pattern drafting tutorial? If you haven't seen it, please click on the link on the description box. Go and get your pattern ready. Here is the cutting and sewing tutorial for this Valentino dress, okay? So in this video, I'm going to break it step by step so that you will understand the process, okay? So if you're new to my channel, my name is Julia Rack, you are highly welcome. And if you're my returning subscriber, you are welcome. So let's get into it. I have my fabric here. This is the fabric that I use, crepe, okay? It's slight stretchy, it's not really stretchy. You can use any fabric of your choice. Try anything new that you want to, okay? Just try something new. Just try, you never can tell how it may turn out, okay? So here is my fabric, my pattern. Like I said, if you haven't seen the pattern drafting, please go and watch it and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. So step two, we are going to cut out our fabric, place our pattern on the fabric and cut, okay? So I have my pieces that I already cut them into a part where it should fit into my pattern paper and also have some allowance to add my joining allowance, okay? So at this point, this fabric was moving around, pattern. the pattern was moving around, so I have to mark it before cutting, okay? So make sure you place an heavy objects on it before you start cutting or you can pin it down if necessary okay so now i'm cutting out my front i have cut out all my back pattern on the half of the front pieces so this is the remaining pieces which is my front and make sure you're cutting your front on fold okay my front cutting is on fold okay don't piece it like the back the back is two pieces because uh, three pieces rather because of the zip allowance and make sure when you are draft, drafting your pattern, you add your uh, joining allowance from the armhole from the shoulder, okay? So after cutting out this, the next thing now I'm going to transfer that to my fabric, okay? This is step three. I'm going to transfer your that into your fabric. So please watch carefully to see what I'm doing. First thing, you need to get your pin and you're going to pin it like you see me doing, okay? I've already gone ahead and do this off camera, but I still need to repeat it so that you understand, okay? You're going to mark it. When you pin it like this, you mark. And you did the same thing here from the hip line, you also mark. Then move on to the point where your dart is going to start from. You're going to also pin like this, okay? You're going to pin it and raise your pattern up and then you mark it, all right? So once you don't transfer this dart like you see me doing, this is the first dart, okay? The first dart it's not it's not cut open it's just like a normal a busy body a dart i hope you understand this so once i'm done that i'm going to pin it like you see me doing to extend it to the other side this is my front pattern i'm actually working on my front pattern okay so once i'm done transferring the dart so the next thing now i'm going to connect it but for me to be sure that my dart length is accurate and equal okay I'm going to take the measurement from the pattern I have here. I have here 5.5, right? Then I'm going to mark it there. And then I'm going to place my tape again from the lower part to find out the lower part. If you're going to do the same thing, okay? Whatever thing you get, then you re repeat it there and then you mark it to your fabric to be sure. I already know what I did, but I'm just doing it because of the tutorial sake, okay? So I'm making this line bold so you also can understand exactly what I'm doing. Afterward, I'm going to connect a straight line like this, okay? So this is where my dart is going to be. And then you're going to mark 0 0.5 inch on both sides, okay? And then you're going to connect it. I'm going to turn it to the other side, okay? And repeat the same thing like I did. So this process, I'm showing you this process so that you will not find it difficult how to go about your dart this is very important you know we have two that so the first that is not cut open it's just a busy body dart so the other one is the one that cut from the underarm to the end of the dress so after doing transferring all this that the next i'm going to make a straight line and then i'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch on both sides like this and then i'm going to start connecting all my dots just like i did on my pattern paper okay so this is called transferring that to your fabrics okay 
I'm going to repeat all the process. Like I'm doing from the front here, I'm going to repeat the process on the back pattern as well. I hope you are understanding my explanation. I hope you get what I'm saying. So this is how my dad they are looking out, okay? So the next thing I will just get my pin and pinny, then go back to my sewing machine to join them together. The same thing is going to happen to the back pattern, okay? Favorite thing I do to the front, I'm doing the same thing to the back pattern. The process, you have to follow the process, okay? So now I'm going to pin it. This is my back and my front pattern. So I'm going to pin it and go to my sewing machine to join them together. So guys, I have done join my dad, my dad together. That's the first dad, as you can see. I've also gone ahead to iron it proper, okay? You're going to make sure you press your, your seam allowance. Whatever thing you do, please make sure you press it, okay? So all my dad has been transferred to my fabric and also it has been joined together. So the next thing now, I'm going to arrange my pieces together so that we can move on to the next step okay so here is my front pattern i'm going to start uh, arranging my front pattern okay so whatever process i'm doing here i'm going to do the same thing to my back pattern so i'm going to arrange it like this so i will start pinning my pieces together okay you need to pin it first if you're a beginner you make sure you need to pin your pieces down so it will be easier for you when you're going to join it okay So now that I'm done pinning my pieces, so I'm going to do the same thing to the back pattern, okay? So whatever thing I'm doing to the front, I'll also do it to the back. So I have done pin my back pattern. So the next step now is to go to my sewing machine and join them together. So step four is to go and join the pieces together, okay? So before you start joining your pieces together, okay? You are going to start your joining from the arm side, okay, from the upper part, so that you will not have a shortage from your armhole, okay? Start the joining from the upper part, so whatever excess you have below, you can easily trim that off. Okay, so right now, I'm going to start now by joining it. So I'm going to start the joining from the upper side, okay? So don't start from the lower part, because if you start from the lower part, you are going to have a shortage from your arm side, okay? So whatever it says that I left here, I will trim that off. I hope you understand this, okay? I hope you understand what I mean. So I will start joining my pieces together now with the 0 0.5 inch allowance that I kept earlier. So now this is this uh, the excess that I was talking about, okay? So you can just use your scissors to trim that off. So this is the this is how it's looking like. So the next thing I will head back to my cutting table. So here are my pieces, the front pieces and the back pieces, okay? So I have also gone ahead to weave the seam allowance. So if you don't have a weaving machine, it's okay. You can just press it, uh, iron it, okay? Make sure you iron it proper. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to join my back and my front pieces together from the shoulder. First of all, you need to start by joining your shoulder uh, first before you do any other thing, okay? I'm going to arrange my back piece and my front piece, the right side facing each other like you see me doing, okay? And then I will pin it down so that I will go back to my sewing machine to join it. So once I'm done pinning this, I will go and join my shoulder with 0 0.5 inch allowance, all right? So I have done join my shoulder together and also I have gone ahead to join my, uh, temporarily I stitched my zip allowance down, that's the back, okay? So step five now is to cut out the collar. So before I will cut out my collar, I need to uh, lose this temporary stitch that I did for the seam allowance or the zip allowance from the back, okay? So they can be able to take a accurate measurement so my first measurement i took it was wrong okay i got 38 instead of 40 
So please, you need to be, be sure of your measurement before you cut out your collar, okay? So from where my uh, zip allowance start, I took the measurement to the shoulder, I got 14 inches. So I'm going to continue the measurement again from this shoulder measurement, okay? From the shoulder joining, I'm going to stop the measurement at the center front of my, the midpoint. I'm going to stop at the midpoint of my front, uh, which is the center front, yeah? So I got uh, 19.25, which was the round measurement anyways. But listen and follow the instruction how I got my collar, even from the original one that I later cut out, okay? So this is the pieces that I'm going to use for my collar. Okay, so you're going to cut a long strap that is longer, uh, three inches longer than the original measurement that you cut, okay? Mine was two inches longer. So that uh, because I wanted to have that triangle uh, edges and the width I got here is 12 inches without folding. Okay. So if it's on fold now, it's six inches. So I will use 0 0.5 inch to join my collar to the body. So I will left with 5.5 inches at the end of the day. So afterward, I'm going to fold my pieces like you see me doing. Okay. I'm going to fold it like this. I will arrange it proper and then I will start taking the length of my round collar okay this is on four so time uh, divided by two so what i am i'm going to mark here is 19.25 okay and then i will connect it with a slant way okay i'm going to i'm not connecting it straight just pay attention and see what i did okay so now that is how it's going to be so i will cut it out i'm going to cut out with 0 0.5 inch joining allowance just the way you see me doing okay so let me show you what I'm going to do because I will be joining this off camera. So once you've done cut your collar, so you're going to go to the sewing machine. You are going to join the edges, okay? From the part where you see me touching, not the side, from these edges here, you're going to stitch it down with 0 0.5 inch allowance, okay? So step six now, we are going to cut out our sleeves, okay? So before we take my before I will cut out my sleeve, I need to take the circumference of my armhole. I'm going to start this measurement from my shoulder joining, okay? So with this measurement, it's going to help me to cut uh, know the, how much I need to use to cut out my pieces, okay? So I got 10 inches, and on the table here, I have the pieces that I cut out already, and this pieces is going to contain the two of my sleeve one side is for the other sleeve and the second side is the other sleeve so i'm going to fold it like this to have my two sleeve in one place so that when i'm going to cut everything i will have everything equal and the length i have here is 10 inches which is more than enough for me my sleeve length i'm going to, i want it to be seven inches so yeah this is enough so i will start taking my cap height now the my cap height, uh, length is um 4.5 inches so plus the joining allowance from where I'm joining my sleeve to my bodies, so for, uh, 0 0.5. So the total length I have here is 5 inches, okay? So I'm just going to use my free hand to connect a straight line just the way you see me doing, okay? And then I'm going to make a, a slant line again. Just to, please just pay attention and see what I'm doing, okay? So the length I mark here is 9 inches, exactly 9 inches, and which is more than enough for me to contain my my armhole line okay my, the the circumference of my armhole after then i find the midpoint there and then i'm going to connect with with the cuff uh, line just the way you see me doing okay so before i will work on the hemming part i need to take out my my the round sleeves or my bicep the round round uh, the circumference of my bicep which I got 11 inches, okay? I got 11 inches, and uh, I'm going to add a, a, like one inch allowance. So I added a one inch allowance, and then uh, plus 0 0.5 inch allowance I'm going to use for my joining. And then I'm confirming my measurement to be sure, and I got exactly 10 inches. So this is together with my seam allowance, okay? So I don't need to add additional seam allowance. So basically, this is how my sleeve is. And then I'm going to cut out with 0 0.5 inch joining allowance from the upper part, okay? So this is my two sleeves together, okay? So I'm going to go and uh, weave 
together with the um, hemming gum on it so this is my two sleeve so i've gone ahead to weave my hemming gum on it so it's going to be easier for me to iron it down okay so the next thing now i'm going to iron this uh the hemming part like you see me doing so i have done iron my hemming gum and my two sleeve i done iron them so this is how it's looking like okay so step seven is to sew the sleeve to the dress all right so before joining the sleeves to my body i'm going to place it the right side facing the right side like you see me doing okay and i'm going to pin it down i usually like to pin my sleeves to my bodies first before i head to the sewing machine to join it because with this pin that i'm pinning like this is going to help me guide me when i'm joining my sleeve together okay i'm going to join the sleeve before closing up my side seam okay so the easiest way for you to join a side seam or to join your sleeve is to join it first before the side seam so i have done pin my sleeve together so i'm going to repeat the same process to my other sleeves okay so this is how it's looking like now so the next thing i will go and join my sleeve together and I also close up the side seam which is this now so i have joined my side seam just look at how pretty this dress is looking like like this dress is given okay so the next step we are going to move to the collar okay before i will join my collar i'm going to stitch in with 0 0.5 inch allowance where i'm showing you okay so step eight is to sew the collar to my dress so before i would uh, fix my collar i'm going to fix my collar first before my zip okay take note of that i'm going to fix my collar first before my zip and before i will fix my collar like you see me i turn my my dress to the right to the wrong side because i'm going to fix this collar from the wrong side okay so that i can fold it into the uh, the right side of my dress so i need to rip the, the zip allowance off so that i can be able to uh, work properly with my collar okay so i'm placing my collar starting from where my zip allowance stop okay from the edges so i'm going to pin it like you see me doing okay so first you need to join your collar first before your zip so that well once you have done that when you're joining your zip then you can it is going to be easier for you to fix in your your zip and then i will show you afterward when i finish joining my zip okay when we are done from the end of this video so now i'm going to go to my sewing machine now so we can go and join this uh, top together so right now i'm on my sewing machine as you can see i pin it from the wrong side okay so we're going to stitch from the wrong side and the other inside is the right side okay so once i'm done i'm going to flip my top my collar to the to the right side that's to the front like you know the fold collar okay so don't start joining don't place your call uh, your collar from the right side of your your dress okay place it from the wrong side of your dress and stitch it okay so that is what i'm doing here so my collar is from the wrong side uh, wrong side i'm stitching it from the wrong side i hope you understand what i mean and uh, i hope you are enjoying this video if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe and uh, don't forget to turn on your uh, notification bell okay so that you will get notified when another diy tutorial will be dropping okay so i have done almost done now so this is where it stopped okay now that i'm done stitching my collar i'm going to take out the pin i will go to my weaving machine to weave all the rough edges to this the seam allowance part and iron and also i will fix in my zip okay so i have done all of that so this is my uh, my dress now okay to be honest this dress looking so nice i so much love the outcome you know most especially the back so i have fixed my zip on so if you haven't seen my tutorial where i show how to fix zip, i'm going to leave the link on the description box okay so i have iron uh, hemming gum onto my uh, hemming part okay so and i have iron all of that so before we uh, end this video so please pay close attention okay from these edges after i finish joining before i join my zip uh, before I join my zip, I first of all place my zip like you see me doing, okay? And then I fold in the edges to cover up those rough edges, right? 
and then before I start stitching my zip to my dress, okay? I'm going to leave a link to the uh, how to uh, fit a zip to your garment, okay? The link is going to be on my description board. So go and say that and learn how to fit zip to your garment. So yeah, basically that is it for this tutorial today. Thank you so much for taking by. If you're still here to this moment, I want to say a very big thank you for watching. And uh, see you on my next swing tutorial, okay? Have a blessed day. Have a good afternoon. Have a good evening. Uh, good morning, wherever you're watching this from, okay? I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye.